Hi everyone, I'm Doug from DigiPen in Redmond. In this video, we'll see how gravity affects a hero's jump and how it affects the fun of the game. By now, we're quite familiar with the game Crystal Cat, which we introduced in an earlier video. We know that in order to let the player control the hero, it relies heavily on three numbers, movement speed, jump speed, and the strength of gravity. We've discussed movement speed before, which defines how quickly or slowly the hero moves left and right on the screen. We've also talked about jump speed, which determines how fast the hero moves upward when jumping, and therefore also how high they can jump. Now it's time to cover the last piece of the puzzle, gravity. We observe gravity in real life as a phenomenon that pulls things downward. In Crystal Cat, it works the same way. The hero is pulled downward by gravity whenever they're in the air. When you press the jump key, the hero moves up and gravity pulls them back down. You might have the impression that gravity is only in effect while the hero is falling and that it doesn't start doing anything until they reach the peak of their jump. After all, how can it pull the hero downward if they're still moving upward? As a matter of fact, this is not how it works. Gravity pulls the hero downward the entire time that they are in the air. Remember, if there were no gravity, the hero would jump in a straight line like this. Gravity bends this line so that it's not straight, causing the hero to fall. You can see that even the upward motion of the hero's jump is bent. This bent path is called a parabola. So, how does the game produce this curved path? Well, when the jump key is pressed, the hero gains some upward speed. Then, over time, this speed is gradually reduced by gravity. Eventually, the upward speed reaches zero, right here at the peak of the jump. After that, the upward speed becomes a negative number, and the hero starts moving downward instead. When they reach the ground, they stop moving, and the jump is complete. The strength of gravity is a number that controls how quickly the hero's upward speed decreases. The larger this number is, the faster the jump speed decreases, and the less time the hero spends in the air. In Crystal Cat, the strength of gravity is 1800 units per second per second. So, what does this mean? When the hero jumps, their upward speed starts out at 750 units per second. Every second they spend in the air, this speed decreases by 1,800. This change in velocity is pretty quick, so the hero doesn't spend much time in the air. If it were a smaller number, like 1,000, the upward speed would decrease more slowly, and the hero would jump higher and stay in the air longer. If it were a bigger number, like 5,000, the upward speed would drop even faster, and the hero would begin falling very quickly. Jump speed and the strength of gravity work together to determine how high the hero of Crystal Cat jumps. If gravity is too strong, the hero can't get very far off the ground, and they'll miss some of the crystals. If it's too weak, the hero will feel like they're floating in the air for a long time, which might feel kind of awkward. The game's jump speed and gravity must be balanced with each other to get the hero's jump height to feel right. Now it's time for you to be a game designer again. Let's use another modified version of Crystal Cat to try to find a good number to use for the strength of gravity. Click the link in the description below and then find the project called Crystal Cat Gravity. The last time we played Crystal Cat, we were able to change the hero's jump speed. This time, the jump speed will stay the same, 
but the game will ask you what you want the strength of gravity to be. Like before, when the game asks, just type your answer into this little window here, and then either press the Enter key or click the little checkmark button on the right. Here's how the jump looks when gravity is set to 10,000. The hero can barely make it off the ground! To use a different number, restart the game by clicking the green flag. Just like last time, in this version of the game, the only thing you can do is jump. This keeps things simpler while we try out our gravity numbers. Of course, the crystals will only appear where they can be reached without any horizontal movement. Let's begin. What would be a good gravity number to try first? Let's try something a little stronger than what the game normally uses. Click the green flag to start the game. The default strength of gravity is 1800, so let's increase that by 1000. In the text window, type the number 2800 and press enter or click the check mark. Play the game with this gravity. With each jump, take a moment to consider what you think of how it feels. After you're done playing, think about how it felt to use this gravity number. Was the jump too low? If it was, then gravity was too strong, and you should use a lower number. If the jump was too high, or if it felt too floaty, then you should use a higher number. Let's pick a new number now. Click the green flag to start again. This time, type the number 1400 and press enter or click the check mark. Play the game again. How did that feel? Was the jump too high? Too low? Remember, if you want the hero to jump higher, then you need gravity to be lower, and if you want the hero to jump lower, then you need gravity to be higher. Play this version of Crystal Cat a few more times on your own. First, play with a strength of gravity of 8000. When you're done with that, play with a gravity of 1000. When that's done, play with any number you like for the strength of gravity. Try to find a number that makes the jump feel really good. Let's recap what we've learned in this video. First, we discussed the concept of gravity in real life. It's a phenomenon that pulls things downward. We learned that gravity in Crystal Cat bends the hero's jump into a parabola so that they come back down to the ground. Next we learned that gravity decreases the hero's upward speed as long as they are in the air. Finally, we used another modified version of Crystal Cat to experiment with different numbers for the strength of gravity. In the next video, we'll put together all three of the numbers we've used so far.